Hello, me again. Unfortunately, the view never changes. A police officer spots a car traveling at just 20 miles per hour. He thinks to himself, this tortoise is just as dangerous as the speeding hare. So he switches on his siren and pulls the driver over. Approaching the vehicle, he notes that there are four mature ladies inside, two in the front and two in the back wide-eyed and each of them as white as a sheet. The driver, clearly bewildered, says to him, Officer, I don't understand. I was doing exactly the speed limit. What seems to be the problem? Ma'am, you weren't speeding, but you should know that driving slower than the speed limit is, can also be a hazard to other road users. Slower than the speed limit? No, sir, I was doing the speed limit exactly. Twenty miles an hour, the old woman says proudly. The police officer, trying to stifle a guffaw, explains to her that twenty is the root number, not the speed limit. A bit shamefaced, the woman smiles and thanks the officer for highlighting her mistake. Before I let you go, ma'am, I have to ask, is everyone in the vehicle all right? These women seem awfully quiet, and they're looking rather peaky. Oh, they'll be okay in a few moments, sir. We just got off Route 118. God appears to Adam and Eve in the garden and announces that he has two gifts, one for each of them, and he would like them to decide who gets which gift. He says, the first gift is the ability to pee standing up. Impulsively, Adam yells out, pee standing up, hot dog, that sounds really cool. I want that one. Okay, says God, that one's yours, Adam. Eve, you get the other one. Multiple orgasms. There was this world-famous painter. In the prime of her career, she started losing her eyesight. Fearful that she might lose her life as a painter, she went to see the best eye surgeon in the world. After several weeks of delicate surgery and therapy, her, her eyesight was restored. The painter was so grateful that she decided to show her gratitude by repainting the doctor's office. Part of her work included painting a gigantic eye on one wall. When she had finished her work, she held a press conference to unveil her, weighted, her latest work of art the doctor's office. During the press conference, one reporter noticed the eye on the wall and asked the doctor, what was your first reaction upon seeing your newly painted office, especially that large eye on the wall? To this, the doctor responded, I said to myself, thank God I'm not a gynecologist. One of the saddest things about feeling over the hill is that it can be one of the loneliest times in life. A middle-aged woman decided that she needed a pet to keep her company, so off she went to the pet shop. But nothing seemed to catch her interest except a rather ugly frog. As she walked by the cage he was sitting in, he seemed to look up and wink at her. She could have sworn, he whispered, I'm lonely too, buy me, and you won't be sorry. But she knew her hearing was no longer good enough for whispers, so she, so she didn't pay any attention. As nothing else was of vague interest, she bought the frog and walked dejectedly.
to her car. As they were driving down the road, however, she heard the whisper, she heard the frog whisper again, Kiss me, you won't be sorry, he croaked. With nothing to lose, the woman thought, What the heck? and gave the frog a peck on his scaly lips. Immediately, the reptile turned into an absolutely stunning, delectable young prince. Then the prince kissed her back. And you know what the woman turned into? The first motel she could find.